Alright, so we've got a floor, but obviously we need to add some walls to it, so let's take care of that next. So I'm going to grab the cube builder again, we'll just right click on the cube button. And we need to punch in some values here for the size of our walls, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well that's great, I can punch in any number I want and I can get nice precision values, but how do I know how big the walls need to be? I mean, maybe we don't remember exactly what the width of our floor was, or maybe we've closed UDK and opened it since then. And you don't want to sit here and have to actually count out each individual grid section. So what we can do is hold down the middle mouse button, which is your mouse wheel. And as you drag across an orthographic view, you'll get this really cool tape measure, which you can see up in the top viewport right now. So we can actually measure out that the width of our floor is 2,080 units. And its length, as I get that right where it needs to be, is 1,088. So you can measure all sorts of distances like this. It's like having a tape measure clipped to your utility belt for whenever you need it. So what I'm going to do is create our wall. Now already, because I haven't yet closed UDK, my y-axis is still set to 2080, which is perfect. We'll go ahead and use that. X, I'm going to set to 32, which will be the thickness of my wall. And Z, which is going to be the height of the wall, I'm going to set to 512 units. We'll go ahead and click Build and Close. And now if I take a look over here in the top view, I slid my red builder brush over here out of the way, so I'm going to slide it back. And I'm going to zoom in here in the top viewport. Now, I'd like to line the corners of these two brushes up, being the red builder brush and this additive brush. But you'll notice I can't see my translation widget. So what I'm going to do is right click here on the corner of the red builder brush. And that'll cause two things to happen. One, the red builder brush will snap to the grid, which is fantastic. Also, the translation widget will pop up here at the vertex that I right clicked, which is also very useful. So now we'll line the two up like so, so there's no overlap. Actually, they are overlapping. It's not running outside the realm of our floor. Now, we need to line things up in the side view as well. So if we take a look, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of increase the size of this view for just a moment. I just want to make sure that the bottom of the red builder brush is sitting right on top of the floor and that the two are aligned. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. So now I can go ahead and add this brush in. So I'm going to click on the CSG Add button located here in the toolbox on the left-hand side. And we get a second piece of geometry for a wall. Now with that done, go ahead and move your red builder brush out of the way. So I'm just going to slide that off in perspective. And what I want to do is focus right up here in the top view. Let me go ahead and make this a nice big viewport. I'm going to click the Maximize Viewport button here inside the top viewport's toolbar. And we can see one brush. So here's our brush that we just created for our wall. And what I want to do is take this lower right-hand vertex and slide it forward so that it lines up with this kind of beveled edge that's in use on our floor right now. So with this wall brush selected, I'm going to switch back over to geometry mode, and then I'm going to click on this vertex here in the lower right corner, and using the translation widget, I'm just going to slide that out one grid space, and that takes care of the problem. I can immediately jump out of geometry mode, and we're done. However, if I demaximize the viewport now by clicking on the maximize viewport button again, you'll see that we do need to update our geometry by rebuilding it. So go ahead and click on the Build Geometry button. Let me go ahead and close the error windows. And there we go. We've got a nice beveled wall that fits nicely onto the edge of our floor. And we need the same thing here on the bottom. Now, we could do the same thing. We could just bring the red builder brush over, add a new piece of additive geometry, jump over to geometry mode and pull out the vertex. It'd, it'd be fine. We can totally do that. But as an alternative, we're going to do something a little more interesting. Let's hold down the Alt key, and I'm going to drag out a copy of this brush. And we're just going to pull it all the way down here to the opposite side of the room. And you'll see the result over here, but obviously this little bevel is pointed in the wrong direction. So I'm going to right-click, and from the Transform menu, or submenu, we're going to choose Mirror X-Axis. And if you take a close look at what just happened, that flipped the brush around the x-axis, so it made a mirror copy of it. And so now it's actually oriented exactly where it needs to be. And once again, all I did was right-click, go under Transform, and choose Mirror Along X. And you can verify that it's the x-axis because our translation widget is color-coded, where red is for x, green is for y, and blue is for z. And it's the red axis that we're using as our primary axis of mirroring. 
So there we go. We now have our north and south walls taken care of. We need to calculate our geometry one more time. So I'll go ahead and click Build Geometry, close out our window, and there we go. We have two of our walls in place. At this point, go ahead and save your level, and we will continue in just a moment. We'll be right back. 